Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. September 15th, man, you got to love it. Let's make it a great night and a great week. Be impeccable with your word. Replace fear with love. This is a great card, folks. The human mind is like a fertile ground where seeds are continually being planted. When you're impeccable with your word, your mind is no longer a fertile ground for the words that come from fear. Your mind is only a fertile for the words that come from love. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up at 218, NASDAQ up 112, S&P's up 33. Gold, gold contract down $13.90, trading at 1793 an ounce. You got silver down nine cents, twenty-three dollars seventy-nine cents an ounce. Late sweet crude up two twenty, seventy-two dollars sixty-six cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. The ten-year note down seven ticks, trading one thirty-three twelve. Thirty-year off half a point, off fifteen ticks at one sixty-three twenty-seven. And king dollar, king dollars down sixty-six ticks, trading ninety-two five five seven. Euro one eighteen, yen one hundred nine point four three, and the British pound at one thirty-eight to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We take a look at the SPY out here. You're up 350. Uh, you rejected lower price. Uh, we didn't get to the low of yesterday. This is kind of intriguing. But the bottom line is that you got down to a price a point of 443.44 today. And... That baby that's going right into where we basic where we went topside on the 23rd. Now we went topside on the 23rd with 54 million folks. We're going to do more than that. So this roll is still on downtown. That's the bottom line. That's how I read this. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. It looks to me like the NDX is going to get the volume today. Uh, you got a rejection of lower price thus far, but it looks to me if you get 34 million, then what you actually have is that you, you got a lower low with volume. That's saying you're going to be right back down there. Now, it's a little clearer of what the NDX or the three Qs have actually done here. They got down to a price point of uh, 373.37. Well, the high of its strength is 373.93. You know, so you get down close to that high, rejected lower price, bottom line, it's going to be the same type of setup, though. If we get 34 million or more, that's saying you have a lower low with volume, saying it wants lower price. We go take a look at the small caps inside the IWM. What do we have with the IWM? The IWM out here, you get a bounce. We're now it's 17.9 million. This is a light bounce, man. Um, that's the that's this is going to be intriguing with the small caps because the small caps. You have the commodity stocks and the small caps, and that's when they do catch a bid, they're, they're a big bid. And that's what we did have happen when you take a look at this back on the, the September 27th, I mean August 27th. That being said, we're still sticking out like a sore thumb with these two high volume lows. You get a high volume low at, at, 30, at 208 as well as 209. So my take, particularly how this is bouncing today, see that the small caps are bouncing with tremendously lighter volume today. That sets up lower prices coming at you. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the note and bond market. You're going to see the note and bond market. They're pulling back. You're pulling back with tremendously lighter volume. Uh, we did one, I think it's 1.5 or 1.7 yesterday. Let me see. We're down today on 1.2 million contracts. And yeah, 1.553. Uh, this one's higher price. That we went up with 1.553 and back with 1.2. We got to take a look at the 30 year. Now, the 30 year really had some action. Uh, 30 year actually had taken its nose and jumped above the whole consolidation it was in yesterday. And it pulled back today. So today we're coming back with 325, 325,000 contracts. Yeah, still. And we we'll go up yesterday with uh, 493. It wants higher price. Good old King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar out here? This one is going to get really intriguing because today it's just a toss-up, man. So, you know, what you had yesterday is that you rejected lower price at 92,300. You go higher to, well, you didn't go higher today. You went sideways today. Um, you get a sideways move like this. It's, 
you know, I, it's like, okay, you're going to go for the high of Tuesday first versus the low. And bottom line, it's not giving us much information. That's the real bottom line. Let's go over to the euro and take a look at the euro. So the way the euro is set up, yeah, euro looks like it wants a little bit lower price. So that would be saying that it would be higher for the dollar. We go take a look at the German pound. When I say lower price, here, let me give you the lower price, too, because that's, that's what made basically had the, this is interesting, too, because that, this is what, now the dollar should, should be up a lot more. Oh, I see what's happening. Oh, I had the wrong one up. Interesting. So the euro is actually up. But that's still sideways. So the euro is sideways, 118. We take a look at the British pound. The pound's up also. Now, the pound wants higher price. Looking at the pound, that's telling me they want higher price. The toss-up on the euro right now. The yen, we take a look at the yen. Oh, this is good for the gold market. The yen broke. So we broke lower in the yen. We went to 109.11. You're at 109.41, but that sets up, that sets up a swing of 108.72. Yeah, this yen broke pretty good last night. Let me go take a look at the Nikkei. So the Nikkei, all of Asia was down last night. Nikkei wasn't down bad, 158. Uh, whoa, that being said, you know, it's wild as if you take a look at this uh, pattern up here, though. This is a sick pattern. Um, okay, so let's see. Yeah, that'd be right. That's in real time. So this is... This this pattern here, folks, if you're into candlestick charting, this is a very hard pattern to do. This is a tri-star doji. What a tri-star doji is is that you ha you get a doji, you go to a higher high, you, and then you basically gap lower and get another doji. And that's that's a tri-star doji, man. Uh, if the Nikkei goes down at all tonight, that is a signal that the Nikkei is going to go all the way back down to the lower end of consolidation, which would be a total mind blower. That is some serious business inside the, the Nikkei right now. Dow, Dow Industrials are up uh, 251, Nasdaq is up 119, S&P's up 37. Stay right there, folks, come right back.